Hi guys, this is Shivaretti. Welcome to the session on Chextile. In this session, I am going to explain what is the use of Chextile and how to integrate Chextile plugin with the Eclipse and how to analyze uh, the project using the Chextile. Let us go ahead and start. So, Chextile is a development tool which is going to help the programmers to write Java code that adheres to a coding standard. So, when you enable Chextile to your Eclipse, uh, when you add Chextile plugin to your Eclipse, then by default, the checklist is going to provide a set of rules which is going to uh, come as uh, by default. Once you enable Chextile to your project, then the Chextile analyzes the source code of the Java and try to identify uh, which are the classes which violates the coding standards specified for the particular project. Then it is going to show those errors and by using those errors, the developer can go ahead and fix so that they can maintain a coding standard across all the developers is going to maintain a uh, common coding standards for the particular project. So Chextile is ideal for the project that want to enforce a coding standard where uh, for a particular project where uh, uh, hundreds of developers are trying to work on the same project then if you if you want to enforce all the developers has to follow the set of coding standards then Chextile is going to be help you to maintain coding standards across the project. If you want to if you want to uh, do these things as a code review then it is going to be a very tedious process and it is going to take a lot of time consuming process. Hence Chextile is going to help you to identify which are the uh, classes which violates the rule set for that particular uh, particular project and uh, it is going to give you better code, re uh, code readability and better quality and it is going to reduce the development um, cost of the time. So now in this session I am going to explain how to integrate Chextile plugin with the Eclipse. Now I am going to my Eclipse and go to help click on Eclipse marketplace and then check for Chextile. Search for Textile. Textile. Click enter. Now you need to add a textile plugin seven dot six dot zero version. So this is what we need. So click on install button. Click on confirm. And now you uh, we need to accept the terms of the license agreement and click on finish button. Now once this inst uh, installation completes, uh, the Eclipse asks you for restart your Eclipse so that the um, Chextile plugin is going to add it to your Eclipse. Now you need to restart your Eclipse to see the changes. I am pausing my video until it re, uh, Eclipse got restarted. So my Eclipse got restarted. So in order to see whether check, uh, check style um, installed to the Eclipse or not, go click on Windows, click on Preferences, and then you can see here the check style. So this is, uh, so Chextile plugin is added to our Eclipse. Now here by default, Chextile uh, uh, comes with the two profiles. One is Google Checks, another one is the Chun Checks. 
Google Checks is basically it is going to have a uh, Java coding standards as set by the Google and Sun Checks it is uh, by default it is going to comes up with a uh, set of uh, standards which is uh, specified by the Sun. So by default you see Google um, che uh, Google Checks that means the Java co Java coding standards set as per the Google uh, coding standards it is going to be built. In order to see what are the uh, uh, rules it has set for this Google Checks, uh, select this Google Checks and click on Configure. Now you can see that list of categories is, it is going to be on the um, left side. For example, if you click on Annotations, then here Annotation Location is the one default it has enabled for this Annotations. And if I see naming convention, then class type parameter name, local variable names, and uh, member names, method names. So these are the default rules set for the uh, Google checks. That means when you enable this as a um, default profile for this uh, uh, your project, then based on these rules, whatever you see here, based on that, it is going to analyze your source code and then it is going to provide wherever uh, the coding uh, wherever the java code violates these rules then those things will be highlighted as a error okay so now if you want to see the description you can see still maximum is the 100 line length okay so for each one you can consider as a one rule and when uh, check style analyzes your project based on the these rules set here it is going to identify those uh, errors and it will give you a feedback to the developers. So this is the default profile here. So if you want to set as a one, uh, you can set as a, if you want to set sun checks as a default, click on sun checks. Okay, and uh, click on set as default. Now when you click on set as a default, then now checks uh, sun checks is going to be the default profile for your uh, for this default profile is going to be the sun checks and if you want to see what are the rules it is set for this uh, particular uh, sun checks again click on properties and if you click on anything then uh, any categories here then you can see list of uh, uh, rules which is enabled for this particular session in the java docs package doc method doc style doc type and variable doc so it is a, it is going to expect all these um, all these rules when it is going to analyze the source code and wherever it violates it is going to provide the um, provide the same uh, it violates these rules okay first we will see how to enable for this project and then i will show you uh, some other uh, important information okay so by default now i have set as a sun checks as a default profile for the checklist now how to enable this checklist uh, check uh, styles for the particular project now here i have created a small um, project which is check style demo and in this right click on the project and go to properties and here you can see check style you can enable this one check style active for this project you can enable and also from the drop down you can see google checks or sun checks so based on your um, your choice you can select any one of them and click ok ok now once you click ok now this is going to uh, enable uh, that means check style is enabled for your project and it is trying to identify what are the um, which are the classes which violates the rules set by the uh, for that uh, default profile here it is in this case it is the sun checks so sun checks is going to expect these things if you see here missing a document comment and that utility classes should not uh, should not have a public or the uh, default and also you can see package missing package info dot java file okay so this is the default in uh, when when it uh, check style analysis your project in this way it is going to identify the errors in your um, in your uh, project and based on this uh, information developer can go ahead and fix it
Okay, now how to deactivate? Once again, if you want to deactivate the check style for your project, again go to the properties and uncheck it. Again, click OK. Now it's gone. And also, if you want to enable for the particular uh, class file, then right click on the um, class .java file and then go to uh, check style. You can see here check style and click on check code code with check style. It is going to analyze. If you want to remove again, if you want to clear this um, check style information, whatever the errors it is going to provide, again you can go ahead and clear check style violations. This is how you. This is how it will work for the. It will uh, check style is going to analyze the project and it will make sure that whatever the rules you set for that particular project. And based on that, it is going to analyze the source code and it will provide the errors so that developer can take the corrective action for that. Now, once again, we are going to see where uh, the default check style uh, profile is there. Okay, now it is uh, default is Google checks. Now, what you can do is if you want to, um, if you want to have your own custom profile or the custom checks for the particular project, then you can select any one of the de uh, default uh, uh, sun checks or the uh, Google checks and then you can have an option called as a copy. Once you copy of sun checks, that means default, you can copy first thing, then I will explain. So this is the copy of the sun checks. Now you can go to the click on the con uh, configure properties and now you can add whatever the properties you only you request, for example. You don't want um, this thing. Uh, you don't want package or doc uh, details. Then just uncheck on it. Okay, and click OK. Now I am going to enable copy of uh, Sun Checks as my default profile for the particular project. Now I am setting here as a default. And now copy of sun uh, checks is going to be the default profile. Click OK. OK. And then again, you can go ahead here and enable for the particular project where I, this time I am going to select copy of sun checks and click OK. OK. Now, if you observe here, previously it is showing package info is a one error, but currently it didn't show. And also, if you see here at the public uh, class level, also it previously it has shown some error. It is it is expecting some documentation, but now it gone because for the pro, for the profile whatever we have selected a uh, check style profile. Now we have uncommented that particular um, property. That is the reason it when it is scanning the source code, it didn't uh, it uh, just ignored because you didn't set that as a rule. So by using the check styles this way you can go ahead and set the list of uh, rules you required for the particular project and then you can enable that profile for your project once you start once you enable that uh, um, check style profile for that particular project then based on the uh, set of rules you configured for the uh, check style pro profile it will try to identify all the issues which violates the rules you set for that particular project and it is going to give the information to the developer so that developer can take the corrective actions as the end result you are going to have the better readability better coding standards and easy for the maintenance and it is going to reduce the development cost hope you are clear with the how to use check styles if you have any questions, please comment on my YouTube video. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more technical updates. Thanks for watching.